Hey guys, there's a couple ways that you guys can put the hair on the doll. Once you guys are finished, go ahead and get your dark thread. If you have any, if you don't, you could use white thread and then use um, a magic marker of um, a Sharpie to um, color your white thread. So what I'm doing is I'm using a navy thread. So what you wanna do is I usually put the doll between myself and a table that you can lean on. So you have a little bit more um, control. So um, I have a piece of leather as well so that you're able to push your um, leather through or your leather needle through. So there are two different ways you're going to get a chunk of hair like this. You, the first way is to put that, put your hair in half and put that on the top of the head. Actually, let's um, put your needle through just um, where you sewed that through. Just go ahead and um, mark the middle of her head. I have a little piece of leather here that will help me push my needle through. Okay, go ahead and do that. Bring that all the way. So this is the first way. I'm gonna put that hair in half, put it on the top of her head, bring it down around, and you're going to go right in front of that, that stitch that you made when you sewed her together. Okay. So you guys see that? You just gonna go here. Let's do it this way. You can actually put the hair down for a sec. Um, push your needle through. This might be a lot easier for everyone to do. Okay. Um, don't pull your string all the way through. Just pull it so that your thread is even, and you're going to thread this hair through here. Okay, so it looks like that. Make it so that it's even there. And then pull your thread straight. This is more like what they used to do when they made them back in the day, I would say. Um, if you want to reinforce that, go ahead and bring your th needle through again. Okay, so pull that so that your string is all okay. So once we got it there, we're going to go ahead and cut that enough string there so that you're able to tie that at the end. So one, it's like you're tying a knot in your shoe. Okay, there you go. And then you wanna clip, clip that off, okay? So you have it like that. And then now what you wanna do is you wanna bring this down to the side of her head. Now this way, you're not gonna have no hair on the back of her head. Okay, we'll show you that here in a minute. So the next thing you wanna do is to make sure to go about halfway down her head here. And you're gonna do the same thing as you did at the top. You wanna push through on either side, either go out towards your left or go out towards your right. This way I'm gonna go out to my left gonna grab my leather here to help me push this through. Okay, it's about halfway. Push that through and you're basically gonna do the same thing, but you're not gonna go around your hair. You're just gonna pull it so that you have one strand of string here. Okay, all the way to the end. And you're gonna pull this hair and I usually put it by my 
tummy so that that's all straight. Okay, you want all your hair straight. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut enough off so that you're able to tie her hair down. Okay, I could have maybe went a little bit further down. You can have someone out, someone hold that so that you're able to get that tight and you're just tying a regular knot. So probably want someone to help you tie that because as you can see, mine's pretty loose. Um, you might be able to pull it. Okay, and then I will cut that extra off. You're gonna do that on both sides. So the other side should look the same way. Okay, so again, or I'll do that other side. See guys, so I usually just draw a line, say it's about right there. I'm gonna use my desk. Okay. And again, you're pulling that so that you have one string on one side. I'm just gonna pull that. And then again, cut it so that I have enough to tie it. Okay. And just tying it in a regular knot, make sure my hair is all the way down here. A regular knot. Okay, probably want another person to kind of help you so that it does get tight. When you're tying it, I'm gonna put my finger there unless you can. Okay, so kind of hard doing it by yourself, but here we go. Okay, so you can see that's kind of loose. You kind of wanna get it as tight as you possibly can. So here we go. So there you go. This is one way. Okay, so this is her front and the back does not have hair. However, if you wanted to, you could paint that red, just like the Indian paint that you can put on her. Um, and then from here, what I would do is go ahead and lay her down there. Put her little braided hair in. Go down as far as you want. Okay, and then you can either take a leather piece. Uh, if you have a leather piece like this, you could take it and, you know, tie it, or you can use your string again and, and there you go, you have her hair. Okay, or you can leave it like that. So that's one way that you're able to put her hair on. I'm going to show you the second way. Taking this off though. So again, that was the first way you can put your hair on or take this all out. Sorry, I have to use the same doll here. Okay, again, I put the doll between myself 
and the table so that I'm able to have control of um, the doll itself while I'm doing the hair. Um, again, notch your thread. Okay, and you will get a, a hair like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take little amounts like that much, and you're gonna put it on the back of her head and make sure that it's even on both sides. So in this case, we will even it out, okay? And bring it up to the back of her neck. If you want it to start back here this low, that's fine. If you wanna move it up a little bit, okay? Pull it tight like that. And then you're going to, the head, you're gonna go downward. It's your first stitch. Um, I use a, something hard to help me push that needle through. Okay. Pull that through. And then you're gonna go back around one more time, right through the same hole or right next to it. You kind of wanna keep that line going up the center of her head. Okay, so there's the first one. That's in, you can let that go. Again, grab the same amount of hair, same thing, place it right next to the last one that you did, make sure that they're even and go get my leather. Let me get a little bit bigger piece here. My leather, I'm gonna go from the top and then I'm gonna go right through. Now this is, you wanna go right next to that first one that you did. Okay, just make sure that your hair, sorry, hair is coming out. There we go. Okay, and pull that tight. Once you get that, that um, hair in there and tied down, you're able to let go of it. Make sure your hair here is even. Go back around her head, pull that in front. Um, go from the top again, down to where our last stitch came out, it's right next to that last stitch and just pull, there we go, okay? So you're gonna keep on doing that all the way to the top. Add a little bit more hair. If you need some hair and you didn't get it when you first came in, make sure you get in here and get that. We do have it here. I'm here today. Um, it is April 22nd, and I will be here tomorrow, the 23rd. Whoops, today's the 21st. Tomorrow, the 22nd, and also Friday, the 23rd. I will be here if you need help. Um, here we go. And what you're going to do is you're just going to keep on on doing that until you reach the top of the head. Make sure you keep that straight line going. Pull it tight. Okay, I'm gonna keep on doing that all the way until I reach, say I did that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on doing that. I'll keep on doing that until I get a little further here. Okay, and you can see that little line there that's gradually forming. That's the middle of your, your head. 
So let's say I did this all the way up here and I'm on my last one, or let's say I'm getting close. We'll put one on up here or I'm getting close to end. Okay, so don't skip it like, like this. We're just pretending. Uh, I'm just pretending like we, we've done the hair all the way up to this point. Okay, so we've put it on so all the hair. I'm getting to my last here is probably as far as I want to go, I say. Okay, there's that, that stitch of the doll. And I want to cover that. So I'm going to go right, right before that stitch. Right before that stitch and right up that last stitch. Okay. There we go. So we've come to the end of her, her forehead where it reaches her face. Okay, there we go. So we filled this all in. And this is the front of her face. Where's my needle here? Okay, so here's the front of her face. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take this needle and go back through that first hole. And it can come out anywhere, it doesn't matter. So hairs should be here. Um, run it through. Um, sometimes if you wanted to, you can take it all the way to the bottom here and go upward into the, anywhere in the hair. Okay. And then you just want to make sure you cut it off enough for you to tie it. And we're just tying it in a regular knot. And then you're just cutting that off. Okay. Um, again, you want to be able to tie her hair down. So come down to about where the ear would be. Go through. One, or you can do two actually. Um, enough string again to tie that hair. Remember, this is all filled. You wanna make sure that you bring that all down here to the front to have better control. I put it between my tummy and the desk, or you can have someone help you. And again, I want to make sure that you have enough string there to tie it. Oh, my string is almost too short. Um, bring that down and tie that. And there you go. And you do the same thing to the other side. That would be tied down there against her head and then you just go ahead and braid it or you can leave it. So this actually would be sewn in there as well. So you wouldn't have that bald spot and you're just creating that 
split up her 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 um part but um i used blue so you were able to see it those just use black thread or white thread and you can color the white thread in with um either red for the the paint or black to match the hair and there you guys have it if you have any questions you're more than welcome to contact me um, or Butch and Butch will have you contact me and we can do a Zoom, one-on-one uh, -on -one Zoom, or you can come into the office and I will be here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that and that you understand it. Again, if you did not, please contact me and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you.